morning, guys. So, not quite awake yet this morning, but I went to my high school reunion over the weekend. I didn't get a chance to talk to you much about it. Got a chance to catch up with, I think there were 50 or 60 people there, and I probably caught up with about 12, maybe. Yeah, I, I tried to count it up, and I just couldn't, couldn't keep up. So, uh, I told several people about my YouTube stuff. So, if any of you guys are watching, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. It was great to see everybody at the reunion. And uh, I don't know what will happen at 20 years, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Alrighty, it's lunchtime already. I know somebody mentioned I, I don't really do a transition to let you guys know what's going on, so transition on lunchtime! Uh, I'm going to go home. I was going to try to make a video, but my lunch hour is actually a half hour, so not really enough time to shoot things, uh, eat lunch, and get back to work. So I'm, what I need to really start doing is trying to spend my evening hours after my son goes to bed making videos as often as possible, if not every night, almost every night. And I've got plenty of ideas, plenty of material, plenty of distros to look at, plenty of tutorials to make, so it's not like this is going to become a problem anytime in the near future. Uh, just just going to, to have to avoid doing it over lunch because my lunches have gotten significantly longer on the days that I try to go home and make a video, and I don't want that to become a problem at work. Anyway guys, lunchtime. I do not know why I'm so exhausted today, guys. It's like somebody's run me over with a truck or something. But I'm off work, I'm heading home, I'm gonna try to go ahead and do the Arch Linux tutorial part two, because I've had so many people asking to, uh, to see it. Basically part two is going to be uh, setting up the, the mirror lists and a user and X and all those things. I'm probably going to take the approach of setting up Pulse Audio instead of ALSA, so I'm going to deviate from the from the arch install guide a little bit just because that's that's my preference but other than that uh, get those things set up get gnome installed on it just do how i would do a basic arch install and then uh, eventually i can go back and redo it with kde and lxde just doing that one segment so like we can have an interactive tutorial kind of thing pick here to see what desktop environment you want and then uh, at the end of it you can go back and finish up that tutorial Honestly, I want to do a lot of Arch Linux tutorials, but I also need to make sure I'm still doing other tutorials as well, and other uh, desktop distro reviews, whatever. Uh, just got to keep the content coming, and, and hope that you guys want to keep watching it. Well, I can't tell, quite frankly, if that was a waste of an hour or not. I sat there and recorded a bunch of stuff about the Arch Linux tutorial, and... Uh, quite frankly, didn't turn out as well as I would like. Yeah, I... Uh, well, I spent a lot of time waiting, and that's a large part of what comes with uh, any of those lower-level installs like Arch or Gentoo or Linux from scratch. Uh, except with Arch, you're not really waiting for it to compile, you're just waiting for it to download. And the problem that I had, I got a little bit of it done and it was pretty pleased with it. The sync stayed perfectly in sync, which is awesome. I don't know what changed, not questioning it right now, but uh, yeah, so I, I got to the part where I was talking about mirrors and using the rank mirror script, and that just caused a bunch of things to go wonky and out of sync. Luckily, VirtualBox has a snapshotting feature that I have not used before today, and it works beautifully just as well as the VM one, VMware one uh, it does. So I'll hopefully be using that quite a bit more in the near future because it'll be a whole lot easier to make a snapshot before I do something significant, and then, okay, well, I messed up recording this, let's just roll back to the snapshot and start that one again. So much easier, because I, I did the rollback before I left, and basically I am back to where I was before I started doing the, the this first, uh, the, well, the first section of part two, I guess. So yeah, it's just going to be a matter of finding the time to re-record and try to, uh, try to do it a little bit faster, I guess, because I had honestly spent at least 15 minutes just talking about what to do and how to do it. And uh, that, yeah, I, I can put up as long a video as I want, but I really don't want to put up an hour and a half tutorial on installing Arch. So, anyway, I'm going to go pick up my son now and, uh, yeah, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I completely forgot to wrap this all up last night. I sat here and edited video from uh, the time my son went to bed. Well, I recorded video, I got the whole uh, Arch install tutorial done up to the point where you're in GNOME, and then I sat here and edited it until uh, 12.30 or so. This is about the progress I've made. You see that little bar? 
you've got 0 to oh, 13 minutes or so. Yeah, that's a really, really long one. It goes to about 20 minutes. So I'm going to do some more editing. I'm going to try to get it down under 15 minutes, hopefully. Uh, but it's probably going to be just really, really long. So apologies in advance, but there's just that much stuff to talk about, and I wanted to get as much of it as possible into one video. So I, I guess that's that's just that. So I will see you guys tomorrow, uh, and for me, it'll be in another five minutes or so. So bye.